you hate your husband and want to get your own bag? Hey boss babe, want to work from home and make your own hours earning multi six figure earnings? Do you feel guilty because you're a shitty mom for leaving your kids at home to go be a career lady? Are you lonely and bored and feel like you have no passions or interests outside of keeping your home? Then I have the thing for you. Today we're talking about MLMs, which is my favorite niche interest. I've got my girl boss hat, my girl boss blazer, and my MLM Herbalife front shake, which unfortunately is so good. Mm. We'll get into how I acquired this later in the video, but these things are just fantastic and it really pains me to say it because like probably so many lives were ruined for this shake. All right, so what is multi-level marketing? The practice of selling goods or services on behalf of a company in a system whereby participants receive commission on their sales as well as the sales of any participants they recruit. So really the thing here to note is that really the product is isn't what you make money on, it's the person that you get to sell the product underneath you. That's the real product. Pyramid schemes are, however, fraudulent schemes and they are illegal. This is what any MLMer or Hunbot will tell you. They'll say it's not a pyramid scheme because those are illegal. And really, the key differentiator is that pyramid schemes don't have a viable product, but MLMs do. Usually it's like some sort of half-assed shitty product. It's almost just a loophole, you know, to be able to have a pyramid scheme without going to jail. Pyramid schemes or multi-level marketing or network marketing or social selling, they have so many different names because every single time the name gets a bad reputation, so they have to move on to a new one as a, like a fresh slate. So there are like 10 things that people are calling it now. This started in the 1940s with this company called Neutralite, which is just, it was supplements. Two distributors, from that company, Richard DeVos and Jay Van Andel broke off and started their own MLM called Amway, which is probably the most famous MLM today. I'm sure you've heard of it. And Amway is weird because it's literally just any product. Whereas I feel like a lot of the MLMs that I know have like a specific product or at least like a brand. Amway doesn't even have like a brand. It's just like toothpaste, toilet paper. It's like a grocery store, but pyramids, like weird. Anyway, it's also important to note that unfortunately, MLM MLMs have like a big history with women and marginalized communities. For example, a lot of MLMs were helpful to black women because black beauty products weren't carried in stores for like way too long throughout history. So black women actually started selling each other black beauty products because that's literally the only way you could get them. I mean, to me that makes sense and it doesn't necessarily feel as predatory. I mean, it still is. Also like women doing Tupperware parties. These are women in the 1950s who needed a second income or were just like bored. Like that's why MLMs suck because they literally prey on people who are like down on their luck, don't have an education, don't have options, are super desperate. And it's like, okay, basically to join our MLM, just give us $500. You can get started with all these products. We'll give you a business, you're set up, you're ready to start becoming a business owner. So you put in $500 and now you've got like this giant stock of products and now it's your problem to get rid of them. So, so many of these people who are at like their last time are like, okay, I'm gonna go into debt and invest in myself. Cause that's the rhetoric they use. They say, invest in yourself, babe. They take their last few hundred dollars or go into credit card debt and join this MLM and it doesn't work. And now they're sitting on a pile of crap. Even worse, there are situations where their upline, which is the person who recruited them, is like super pushy and rude and is like, well, the problem is because you are lazy or your work ethic, or you don't have the hustle muscle. One of them I heard say, <laughs> basically MLMs like destroy people, ruin and family, scam people. Basically, you will lose so many friends if you do an MLM, probably. I just hate everything about MLMs. And I grew up in Utah, so I'm very familiar with them. I think Utah is the MLM capital of the world. There are multiple, multiple factories for large MLM companies in my home state. For my credentials, I'm going to go through this list and tell you MLMs that I have personally tested the products or how to run in with. Mm, so disappointing that it's so freaking good. And the macros are good too. Don't do this. You can get a protein shake at the store for cheaper, but it, 
It won't be as good. So I have tried Mary Kay. Everybody's tried Mary Kay. Unique, Lip Sense, doTERRA, Herbalife, Young Living, Scentsy, Pampered Chef, Perfectly Posh, and Color Street. And there might be more that I just forgot. I think I should call my mom during this video and ask her if she has funny stories. So my favorite pyramid scheme story that I have to tell is about the company Lip Sense. Now Lip Sense had a boom when I was in middle school. All the moms in our neighborhood were selling it. And it's like this crusty ass lipstick. Like you put it on and it's supposed to be smudge free. It like chemically binds to your lips or something like that and then you put a gloss on it it looks awful it looks so ridiculous and embarrassing but everybody bought it my mom doesn't even wear makeup and she bought this shit she just probably had some friend that she felt bad for she always feels bad for them because it's always women in tight situations and my mom just wants to support somebody my mom even bought me some for my like performance theater makeup because she wanted to support her friends that bad it got so bad that i had a friend in the eighth grade who got roped into becoming a distributor she literally invested as an eighth grader a grown adult woman thought mm, i'm gonna get an eighth grader in my downline and she like actually made sales like she would walk around the junior high with like swatches of all the different lip sense colors on her arms like all up her wrist and try to shield them to the other eighth graders and everybody was like I don't have $40 to spend on a lip gloss bitch I had a friend in high school whose mom was at like the top of Norwex which is like cleaning supplies and I remember not knowing what Norwex was and she gave us like the most emotional story about how she got roped into it and started selling it and now she's at the top and they've been able to have this nice house and it turned her life around and I remember thinking it was so inspirational and then I found out it was a pyramid scheme and I was like oh no way and she got some of the moms in her friend group to start selling it too and I was like oh I do remember somebody having like a paparazzi party at our house and I was so stoked because like there were like little like treats and appetizers and I got to hang out and like snake them while everybody was over having a party like the little MLM parties were kind of fun but it's literally just like a party to buy random crap that nobody needs. Okay, so I do know someone who was a part of Saint. Let me say I tried Saint. It made my skin go nuts. Saint is like a piece of crap product. It's like a palette of like basically clay makeup. Like it's literally like clay and it's you have to like dig in with your finger to even get the product to lift out of the palette because it's in there so deep and it's like wax so it like melts off through the day it separates on your face it is one of the worst makeup products on the market i swear to you and if you're on tiktok you might see those videos where the ladies are telling you like a crazy story time while they're painting their face in this like weird contour shape and then like the clickbait is like oh my gosh by the way what's that palette you're using oh yeah y'all well that's my saint makeup you the link in my bio to go try it today. That's exactly Saint. You've probably seen it. The person that I knew that got roped into selling Saint would constantly call me and be like, hi, so your mom's been telling me that your skin is really bad. I actually saw just the thing for you. You know how I do Saint? Yeah, they released a product and you basically put it all over your little zits, all over your face and it will hide them and nobody will know that your skin is fucked. Thanks. Thanks, I'll be sure to look into that. Oh, it's $120 for a starter kit? <laughs> and you just told me how bad my skin is? <laughs> what a treat, <laughs> I couldn't ask for more. So one time I was just like dicking around downtown Salt Lake City in high school and the USANA building is like huge, grandiose and they were having an event. We saw people walking in and out in like formal wear and we were like, oh, we have to go investigate. So we go in and there was like a red carpet, like people like crying, clapping, like a huge event. And I just started walking around and this lady comes up to me and is like, hi, are you here in the room? Are you here for the event? Um, yes. Oh, you're a USANA distributor? No, but I've actually been looking into it. And she's like more than happy to take this high schooler's information and get me started. So literally she uh, just got all my information. Then she sees that I had like 3000 followers on Instagram or something. I feel like a Gen Xer in a pyramid scheme, that's like a gold mine. It's like 3000 followers. Do you know how many new downliners that could be? So she freaks out and she starts like asking me all these questions. She's like, you would be perfect. Come with me and like hyping me up. And then that, at that point I'm like, what did I get myself into? I just wanted to explore. So I'm like, I have to go to the bathroom. And I like sprinted out of the USANA building. I'm like, Fuck, I've been too deep. <laughs> but it's just crazy how like eager this lady was to recruit, recruit, recruit. Oh, Barkley's napping on my lap. What a good baby. This is why I work from home so I can take care of my child. And if you can't do that, you're a bad mom. Right, Barkley? <laughs> no, 
now that we've covered some of the bases, I want to get into some of the cringiest MLM content I found on the internet so that we can react to it. Let's go. Why are people poor? They are stupid. They work in nine to five. They think like trash. I make $100,000 a month without leaving the house and you can too. I don't even think I have anything clever to say about this. Stupid nine to fivers don't even know the way. I bet the caption was something like, Yep, and you can too, but first you have to invest in yourself with my $250 a month course. And then if somebody's like, $250 is a lot of money, it's like, that's a quitter's mentality. You have to level up your mindset and be ready to be the person who invests in themselves, who's ready to be a business owner. You know, I hate that. If you're running low on face wash, think of me. If you don't use moisturizer, think of me. If you're needing new mascara, lipstick, bronzer, or hair care. -a. If you're running low on face wash, call JC. That's me. If you're naive and short on cash, think of me. If you're desperate and in need, think of me. If you don't think it's a scheme and you want to get your dream, if you want to join your team, message me. If you want to join my team, message me. The lyrics need some workshopping. I'm a boss babe, all I do is work, so I'll, I'll get the work done. <gasps> the next video is Unique. Oh my gosh, guys, I love Unique. My mom used to have Unique, and she was like, this is the expense of mascara, so don't touch it. And I would like secretly use it. And it's basically like little fibers that you do like a sticky mascara, and then you do like a fiber coat. And it is like so weird. It made my eyes itch so bad every single time. Like my mom would be like, did you steal the mascara? I can tell because your eyes are bloodshot. No, just kidding. That didn't happen, but um, it did really hurt my eyes every time. And it looked crazy. We're going to be a catfish today. And I mean all day. Our foundation's not gonna turn orange. It's not gonna cause more acne. And it's not full of ick. Let's get it. Take your sponge and foundation. Do half twist. Do some twisties on your face. Make sure you get your nasties. Ah! And you. I have never in my life seen somebody not in seventh grade apply a foundation like that. What? Who swirls their foundation? Okay, anyway. Blend. Dab, 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 dab. Dab! Then you add concealer. Just two dabs. She's Over really here. good at lip syncing though. Only bags you should have are designers, friends. Make sure it's waterproof because you sweat like a snowman in Florida and you're gonna cry your eyes out later because- Ugh, by the way, this is like peak millennial humor. Later because your kids are gonna drive you nuts. Throw some brows on to scare away your enemies. Let's look skinnier than we are, blush and brown. Your brows were already on, wow. Let's look skinnier than we are, blush and bronze. Ooh, get your eyes in check. This is all I could get done because my little humans hate me. Only time for gloss. Still looks sexy though. <laughs> if you had a designer makeup routine, it's probably around the same price as this because let's be honest, MLM makeup, the whole point is that it's so expensive. Her lip sync was good. I don't know what I have to say for that one. This is probably gonna be a multi-part series. It's okay, I just have to get on here and I have to do it because- 1.5 speed. And speaker. other people get hate and people are just uneducated and don't know. So they spread misinformation and don't understand. Everyone is so dumb and that's why they're telling you that you're in a pyramid scheme, okay? Your family and friends are just ignorant, okay? That's why they don't want you doing this, okay? It's because they hate you and they're ignorant. Spread misinformation and don't understand. Let's educate you. This is going to be really simple. What is an MLM? Basically, if you don't know, because you're thinking, oh, MLM is trash, it's a scam, they just want to take your money, blah, 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 blah. Well, what is it? You can't answer that, can you? Because you just want to say it's a pyramid scheme. So no, I can't answer that. The practice of selling goods or services on behalf of a company in a system where- So let me educate you. And this is for the haters, okay? And this is for the non-haters as well, because some people are truly actually- Hater. As to what it is. Well, the biggest question, is it a scam? Is it the smartest business model out there? To me? into most social sellers. It is the smartest business model out there. You wanna know why? Because instead of a company running to a box store and selling their product through that box store, which most box stores are unethical and scammy and just overcharge and overpriced prop. Oh my God, I'm sure Jessica is a total social justice warrior against Walmart's unethical practices. I bet all MLMers are, are so tuned into the morality of goods that I bet she only buys farm fresh, I bet products anyways or they sell it off to third world countries and have it made in third world countries and then shipped over here and then it's just not ethically sourced or anything like that so small 
family-owned companies, what they do is they look for individual distributors, like myself, to sell the products to a customer base. It is a viable product that they are selling, okay? It's not a scam. So in a lot of- Like Monet, which is the one that she sells. Monet, very viable. Of direct selling companies, network marketing companies, however you want to categorize it as. They normally, the sellers will get not only a commission for the products that they are selling, okay? Because it does have to have a tangible product to be a legitimate business model. Um, That's true. Usually they also get money for recruits. Now with my company in particular, I don't get paid off of like the ladies that I get on my team that I get to, to start selling. Okay, but here's the difference between you and like a Whole Foods. If you get your friend Lori down the street to start selling Monet, you get a cut of what Lori makes. If the Whole Foods in Salt Lake City picks up Monet products and calls up the LA Whole Foods and is like, girl, you gotta carry Monet. Salt Lake City Whole Foods doesn't get a percentage of what LA Whole Foods makes off that. Does that make sense? The problem is that Lori down the street is your real money maker, not your hair accessories. Do you see? Versus for the box store, they're selling you the products. Does that, does that check out? Um, I do get money off of their customers. Okay, I get a percentage of it. Not a very big one, but I do get a percentage. So they focus more on um, customers. The more customers we have, the more money we make, okay? Now, let's talk pyramid schemes. They're illegal. They disguise themselves as an MLM and say that, oh, you know, you wanna sign on, you wanna do this and you wanna do that. They take your money and then they give you nothing in return. Difference. I actually love when they get angry. It's just like funny to me. It just, it just, Tickles me. Um, so I do love that she's selling Monet because Monet is one of the most hysterical products to me because it legitimately does not work. About the profession in general, and sometimes that's because you're listening to a lot of stuff from friends and family. I still have family today. I've been doing this for 15 years and I'm successful and they still are like, are you doing that thing still? I'm like, yeah. Yeah, weird, <laughs> right? Still today, people think that. So a lot of times we may have a limiting belief about the profession, but more times than not, it's a limiting belief about ourselves. The brain is just there to tell you that. So for all of us, the only way to overcome that fear is truly by going through it. No one, no one. Okay, I do think this is like great advice for anything but doing a pyramid scheme. <laughs> like, yeah, you probably do have the negative voices in your head and you probably do have people telling you it's a bad idea, but your family and friends telling you that you shouldn't join a pyramid scheme probably are right and well-meaning. This girl is my new favorite because not only is she in an MLM, she started a business teaching people how to succeed at MLMs. So she's like double dipping and I think that's pretty girl boss of her. I started doing party plan. I would still work seven days a week in my store. I would load up my car to go do a party two to three times a week because that's what made you successful then. Um, I learned though that if I brought clothing with me, I might be able to cross, you know, have some people that might want clothing if they didn't want skincare and makeup. So I would actually literally load up my So it sounds like she was in three MLMs at once and doing parties. I think I explained enough for you to get what a party is. Car, so there'd be piles of jeans in it, there'd be shoes in it. And one time I was driving up to build a new market, eight hours north of where I live, and I was pulled over, because I was speeding, because I typically drive fast. And uh, you know, they, they do the like, do you know how fast you were going? And I was like, I don't, I wasn't paying attention. And then he did the, where are you going? And I shared I was driving eight hours up north to go do parties, which I mean, I'm sure he's never heard of. And so he, peeked in the car, he gave me my ticket, peeked in the car and he was looking, he's like, well, what is all this stuff? And I was like, well, in the back I have skincare and makeup because I do parties and up here I have jeans and I have some shoes. And then I said, are you married? And he's like, why? And I'm like, well, I just, I have all this cool stuff. And he's like, miss, bribery is not, you know, you're trying to bribe. I'm like, no, no, <laughs> like, I'm trying to sell you some stuff. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, do you know why you're being pulled over? Is it because you wanted to try some of Modere's newest collagen flavors? No, it's because you were going 75 in a neighborhood. Well, that's because I'm hustling. Do you hate women in business? No, there's a blind toddler in this neighborhood. Why would you be driving like this? Well, because I truly know how to hustle, I have to drive eight hours to a party so I can sell three different lines of product. That's actually hella inspirational. I actually uh, love the grind. That's right. Also, do you have a wife? Because I have plenty of product if you'd like to, perhaps. 
indulge me. <laughs> wow, I really respect your work ethic and hustle. Yes, I think my wife would love one of everything in your trunk, ma'am. <laughs> Boss babes do it better. Like, I'm trying to sell you some stuff. Like, <laughs> I got shoes, I got jeans, I got skincare, uh, and I still got my ticket. But, you know, that, you guys. She still got the ticket. <laughs> I love this. This is like Delulu land. That is how you would grind. I like hustle. You hustled all the time and you hustled with everything you had. That was a really funny story to say, this is how hard you need to be hustling. Like you need to hustle even when you get a ticket. Doesn't sound like it worked though. Cause have you ever heard the phrase work smarter, not harder? I just think this would go under the harder category, trying to convince a police officer to buy your items because you're driving eight hours to sell your items. At this point, do you think it would have just like, if you did the hourly wage of working at a Costco, so if you did the hourly of those eight hours you drove, the eight hours you drove back, the, you know, three hours you maybe spent at the party, I, there's no doubt in my mind that you would have made more working at McDonald's for that amount of time. Cause like, you know, you had to invest in the product, you had to do the marketing, you had to pay for the gas. To me, this is insane, but that's why I'm not a true boss babe hustler. Okay, that's why I have a scarcity mindset. I am small minded and I will never grind like you. Doterra, the way that they source, the way that they run their business is high integrity, high core values. That's one of the things that really attracts really successful people to doTERRA. Um, the other thing that attracts people is they do want the time freedom. They see, you know, I'm over. Okay, words that I would never use to describe a multi-level marketing scheme would be integrity, honesty, anything she said. So one of the problems with doTERRA is that a lot of their sales people will market it as an alternative to medicine and people can get really, really hurt doing that. I researched this and most of the critics say that all of doTERRA's research is really hokey and not well done. So when they come to you and they're like, it's proven that orange reduces anxiety. And then they'll really over glaze the conclusion. They'll be like, see, so that means orange is an effective oil for everything. And that's why we can charge $80 for it. Booyah. But of course that is also one that my mom has purchased and we had it in the house growing up and we would use it. Be like, oh, I'm getting a cold. Well, just drop a few. Maybe you can try putting some on guard doTERRA in your mug this morning. And they all smelled like the Bible. It was weird. Or I had a friend in theater class who told me that she would put peppermint in her water when she was feeling sick before an audition. So I started doing that and I suddenly had diarrhea every time I tried to sing. And I was like, am I getting stage fright? No, you're just not supposed to consume doTERRA peppermint. That is so many women. Stop it. This girl really got, how many there are there? One, two, 10 other women that she's recruited into her downline. Girl, girl. So let's say each person had an enrollment cost of like $300 cause they had to like buy the stupid stuff. I'm gooped and gagged, honestly. When people complain about living paycheck to paycheck but are not open to opportunity. She's exactly what I think when I think of like toxic hun bots. This is like the image I see in my mind. Girl, when you're living paycheck to paycheck, you don't have $300 to invest into an MLM. <laughs> I'm just absolutely mind boggled by this. She's the type of person to be like, I hate paying taxes because why should I pay for people to be on food stamps? They just need to pull themselves up by their goddamn bootstraps. That's the kind of lady that posts stuff like this. Like, oof. Please. Oh no, I know this one. Okay, I felt that I was gonna have a thousand years and um, I just wanna tell you why. Um, so it's this, it's Plexus Slim. And uh, this is it, comes in a nice little bag. This is everything it does, reduces hunger. There's other- No! I'm such a Christine stan that every time I see her post something about her pyramid scheme, I'm always like, no, why can TLC not just up her paycheck? It's so embarrassing that she's shilling Plexus. Get her a normal brand deal. Products too, of course, they have like a microbiome one that's absolutely Amazing, but you tonight, I am so sick of the gut health microbiome buzzword craze. I feel like we can't say lose weight anymore because people are sensitive about that. So now we have to say fixes your gut health, but it's like probably the same exact product. Just rip the packet. Ooh, super easy. Put it in this handy dandy water bottle that comes with your first purchase. 
Okay, Christine, that water bottle looks like a giant test tube. Why are we acting like the water bottle is like, oh, now, I, okay, if we're gonna get a free water bottle, all right, that looks like the plastic Voss water bottle. And don't get me wrong, I do like the Voss water bottles, but come on. And then you shake it a lot because it needs to dissolve all the way in water. And then within 30 minutes, you are going to drink it. There's also a couple of other things that they have, which is like natural caffeine. I stopped drinking coffee and I just use their caffeine instead. But I feel better than I've had in years. I don't have bloating anymore. I can eat pretty much. I hate bloating as a selling point. I know that people with like gluten intolerance, their bellies will get like super swollen, but that just means you have a gluten intolerance. That doesn't mean that you need to buy Plexus. Christine. Whatever I want and I used to be allergic to absolutely everything. Please do not tell me that you think Plexus solves allergies. Anyway, this is absolutely awesome. I feel so much better not having a food baby. I got to the point where I was naming my food baby, like Yorn Brown, because it was there all the time. And I just, I digest food and it's absolutely amazing. I feel better than ever. She's so stinking cute. I love her, but I don't. Christine, you're better than this. Come on. All right, we are on our way to DTC Nutrition. The beauty is that I've had this video planned for four days. I never even bothered to check if there was an Herbalife Nutrition shop nearby. I just knew there would be. That was exhilarating and crazy. That dude was like ready for me to hop in as an Herbalife distributor. How much does it cost to like get started on that? Uh, to be a distributor? Mm -hmm. uh, it's about 110 bucks and you know, Herbalife is a company that behind everything we do. Do you happen to be familiar by any chance? I feel like I've heard it before. You have. It's been around longer than you and I have been alive. It's been, when I said it was in my family, my family became distributors two months before I was born. So you probably have like hundreds. It's, I can't take credit because it was built before me, but it's a, it's a couple thousand. Yeah. Oh my gosh, a couple thousand? Well, I have help. I mean, the whole, the whole purpose of building a business is to make yourself duplicable. Ah, uh, I don't yeah. want to be the star of the show. I, my goal is to teach somebody to be a successful distributor and teach them to teach other people. I can't believe I got like the king, like the fat cat of Herbalife, like a thousand in his downline and he's inherited the downline. That is, I didn't know there were Herbalife Nepo babies. Oh my gosh, but he had such a creepy vibe. He was like Joe from you. And I was like, if I don't sign up for this, he's going to murder me. He was like, drop your business card, perhaps. So like, I think, no, thank you. The fact that my phone number was in their system from when I went to the one in Utah was like scary to me. I was like, oh no, he knows my phone number. I'm going to get a call and be like, I thought perhaps you were interested in distributing Herbalife, Tyler. It was nice to meet you today. I feel like I wasn't even buying into it that hard, but he was like ready to pounce. He was like, yeah, if you want to get started, it's only $100. You only have to pay $100. There's no way it's just $100. That's probably like the bare minimum and maybe 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 if in another world I were dealing with a life-threatening weight problem And this was like the only way I could trust myself to lose the weight Maybe I would pay that much but at that point that's like how much Ozempic costs. I don't know, bro I'm not saying Ozempic is good for you, but but I am saying these aren't regulated by the FDA. Hello. Hi Do you have a second? Hi. Yeah, what's up? Kiss Mary kill saint unique or doTERRA i would say mary saint i don't know anything about unique you literally had it that's the fiber mascara oh that was awful kill <laughs> and doTERRA i i have to say it's probably not good for you but i do enjoy smells so i do like smells so i like to smell it you know they say it's not great for you and i know it doesn't cure things but i do like smells okay that's valid okay one more kiss mary kill lip sense mary Kay, or scentsy well i'll have to take the scentsy again just because i like smells even though i know it's bad for you oh i kind of um, like scentsy i like it but it, they say breathing that stuff is not good for you but i love the smells yeah, that's so that. expensive like you're basically just burning money right yeah um, that lip sense, it doesn't work. Garbage. I hate lip sense. Garbage. It just burns your lips and then they're dry and they crack it and it peels off. And then you look a mess because it's stained in some places and peeled off in others. So you have no choice but to either reapply or look a mess. <laughs> Stay away from it. What was the other one? Mary Kay. Never been a big fan, but I can't say it's 
terrible because I yeah, don't wear not, a lot of makeup. It's not you, terrible. We probably ought to preface this with mom doesn't really wear a lot of makeup. But I think you're like perfect to call because you've had so many friends and these things that you've tried like half the products. <laughs> yes, I have had friends in all all of those and not just one friend, but like <laughs> multiple friends i hate the idea of selling anything to anyone except for some reason part of me has always wanted to be a car salesman oh okay well at least the product is the car and not the other people selling the car so there you go and i just really like cars well follow your dreams too bad there's not a car mlm that would be pretty crazy probably i don't know maybe maybe we should come up with one yeah that would be I awesome. I think they call it a dealership, Tyler. I think it's called a dealership. No, because... You work at the dealership and that's the head of the MLM and you sell the cars for them. <laughs> <laughs> and then if you get other people to start being dealers, you get a cut of whatever well, they make. You're, you're the dealer manager. You're the manager. You know how they always give you a price and they're like, well, let me go check with my manager if I can come down on that. See? Oh, See? yeah. That's just a boy MLM. Uh-huh. Well, there are lady car dealers, but not as many as boys. So true. It's like, yeah. there you go. Maybe we should start a woman-owned car dealership. That would actually be cute. Yeah, that would be where women can go and talk to other women and be safe. Yes. Feel safe. Not that we're not safe, but feel No, we're safe. totally going to be predatory, so they won't actually and be safe. feel heard. Aw. No, 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 no. That's the whole reason to do it. Well, we can't make money if we're not shady, so... No, you can be honest. People gotta understand. You gotta make a dollar. You gotta pay the. You gotta pay the mortgage, right? Like, I'm not afraid of people knowing. Well, I gotta make this much to pay my bills. Well, thanks for chatting with me. Have a good one at work. Talk to you later. Okay, bye. Bye.